Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving me each and every day, knowing that you can relate to the videos that I put out and it's sending you some kind of validation and confirmation as well. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you um, are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And also, if you feel like the video gives you good information or good vibes, you would love to to share with a loved one or a friend please go ahead and do so and you know give me a thumbs up and like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing me so much love and support that really humbles me as well as bless me as well and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video um today what meditation song i'm listening to is called activate and clean and align the seven chakras and i will Oh, excuse me. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's being in the darkness of your pain for far too long. You know, there's a lot of times we we can go through certain things and we hold on to it long for far, far too long where we feel like is this going to ever end? Is you know, why do I have to constantly keep going through things like this? And it is just like we have to go through things to tell tell our story. You know, um, we have to go through certain things for us to be able to pull out, knowing what we truly are, knowing it's just like, hey, Oka's indigos. You know, I'm any kind of empath done had a hell of a life, but hey, Oka's they tend to go through it worse because we go through things ass backwards. <laughs> we we tend to wallow and dwell into certain things far longer than we need to be, and it's just like you know how some people can just say, okay, this happened, I let it go. And they actually let it go but then with us we got to try to find out why they did this what was the reason or the purpose of going through this we got to dig and we got to investigate and then with us staying in that situation for far too long sorry about this y'all it's like when my energy shifts change you'll see lights like flashing past going through, <laughs> through the video so i apologize for that my my energy switches every once in a while just like it just did um but going through that it, it can be very painful if you're not you know it served its purpose and sometimes when it serves its purpose we tend to want to hold on it on on to the that pain the hurt the traumatic experiences for far too long we keep you know making ourselves grow through the um through that 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 hamster wheel of pain when it's just like we were supposed to learn the lesson from that experience and take it for what it's worth and let go and move on. Trust me, I know. Because <laughs> it's like there's sometimes I can't make a video because I'm just down in my darkest moments. And I, you know, like I tell y'all, even though I tell y'all to let it go, I'm trying to do the same thing for myself. Because there will be times that I felt like I don't forgave everything and I'll let it go. And then something will come up that I forgot about that, you know, I suppressed for so long and all of a sudden something else comes out. And I'm just like, dang, I'm trying to forgive these folks for the stupid stuff they put me through now this comes up again yeah it's just like so many things we can go through and we try to wonder why we had to go through that and it's just like like I tell you your story your situation that you have been in you never know what when you go out there and you put your story out there you never know what things you will bring to light for other people especially with you being a hey Oka, we tend to you know do things within humor we, we have people look at things in a different perspective, try to look at them in a different perspective, knowing this is the reason why you had to go through that. A lot of times we say jaw dropping things like, I can't believe you said that. I mean, my you know, when I can say something to myself and my dad's there, I can picture my dad just shaking his head like, did you just really say that? And I'm like, yeah, I did. You know, you just look at folks and, you know, your, your actions speak between your head. Me, I just come out and say it, you know. So it, it's just a lot of times my dad has to, like, spiritually just laugh and walk off like, I can't deal with you right now. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. But 
we have to go through things, you know, it, it, it just took me a long time to have to really get out the hurt and the sorrow that I felt for losing my father, you know, having to learn about the things I had to learn about after he passed away, which I really felt like that wasn't fair. Like I was angry at God. I ain't going to even lie to you. I was angry at God in the universe. Like, you know, y'all could have went without telling me this. If this is how I had to find out, this is like so messed up on so many levels to put somebody through that. But I know with me going through this, I would have never came across impasse or I would have never came across twin flames, never came across the situation of knowing who I am and knowing how many people I can help when they're going along their journey, trying to find that, that self-discovery of themselves, you know, and it, it's just, it's crazy when you have to go through things and we have to go through rock bottom hard situations just to come up and say, you know what, I'm blessed that I went through this because, you know, when you, you know, you have things question your weakness, you have things that questions your faith, you go through things that test you on how much strength you have within yourself. And that's something we have to learn and grow from. You know, and that, that's a hard concept to have to go through, but it, it's just like when I see so many people that do motivational speaking and they basically are telling people about their lives, you know, what they had to go through to get to where they're at now, where it's helping other people as well. And it's just like certain people, you know, have went through lives and cut their lives short because they couldn't handle the pain and, you know, the sorrow they went through, you know, they, they reek in, um, like depression it's just like so many just for me being who i am and it's just like certain celebrities have passed without throughout the years it allowed me to see you know this person was an empath and they just couldn't take you know the situations they were going through it it put them in a very dark place to where they wanted to end their lives there's times i wanted to do that for myself and because i didn't want to feel that pain no more but anytime that i've tried to do that god is saying i'm not done with you yet for you to wake up the next day knowing there's something that you you're not finished with doing yet even though you might regret saying why you know why i gotta live with this pain you don't have to live through this pain that's something you choose to keep a hold of and it's not meant for you to hold on to something like that i mean that's that's only all it is is torturing yourself you know and i see i have associates and i have friends that do that and there's some of them i had to let go of some of them i had to snooze for at least about 30 40 days just because the fact is i'm trying to tell you you don't have to stay like that. That's your choice. But don't get comfortable being in that darkness when you're supposed to shine bright like a diamond. I mean, it's just a purpose on you doing that. And it's just like when universes, you know, universe will show you so many times and things. If you know you're trying to get to a positive place, but you keep dwelling on negativity and you wonder why negativity keeps constantly finding its way to you is because you're putting more power in the things that have hurt you. You're putting more power in that negative state of mind then you are the positive one you know positive things can come your way but you're not putting any emphasis on that you're not putting any power in the positive things you're putting more things on the things that has happened to you things that you feel like it might come your way but you putting that out to the universe of course it's gonna come your way and you're gonna be like well i told you I, well you can't say you told you so because you did that to yourself and I've done that to myself. So it's just like when I've had things happen to me, I hate the life that I'm living right now. But it's all a project of things that I have soaked in my mind. Like, yeah, this, you know, I'm going through this, but you don't have to let the way things are going on around you affect the way you think about yourself, the way you want people to perceive you. You know, people that don't feel good about themselves, don't see the goodness in themselves, they can't see that goodness in you. You know, you'll be like, well, why can't this person treat me the way I want to be treated? They can't do that if they don't feel that way about you. And I've had to tell so many people that because that's something I had to learn. You know, um, going through the things I had to go through, people were threatened by certain things that I said. That's fine. Because what I say speaks a lot of volumes. You know, I, I feel like if you're an empath, you'll know if I'm trying to serve you bullshit. You would know that. You know, because there will be many people. There are some people that may not want to see that and they feel like they were threatened by me if they're an empath. But there's a lot of people that also see what I'm saying. They're like, wow, you know, she's actually speaking the truth because it's just with us being empaths, you know when somebody's feeding you a lie or not. You know when somebody's trying to pull the wool over your eyes and make you, you know, pee outside and make you think it's raining. I just don't have time for that. That's just wasting too much energy for me to feel like if I got to lie about something, I just might as well not say nothing at all. Because, I mean, that's wasting your time and that's wasting mine. But it's just like when I know I'm trying to push out positive 
things towards people, I had to go through the hardship. I had to go through neglect and abandonment, abuse, every kind of type of abuse that's known to mankind I have went through. And to be able to wake up the next day, have a smile on my face and be grateful for the people that has came my way or the people God and universe has sent me towards them to be able to help. That's a blessing within itself. Then it lets me know I had to go through this hell and the high water to be able to help other people that are struggling with the same thing, but just doesn't have a voice to be able to know who do I talk to? Where do I go? What, you know, what is this call that I'm going through? Who am I? That makes you question who you are. So it's just being a blessing, be, being able to have a blessing like that is a good thing but just know that the dark things that is happening to your life you're not supposed to sit and welcome that you're not supposed to be going to the darkness hotel you supposed to go to the light one you supposed to you know pack your stuff up and go because it's not meant for you to do that and the more you wallow in your darkness and sadness the more you will stay in that and it'll be the more miserable you will be you know, it's not supposed to, you know, I'm not supposed to sit up here and concentrate and worry about, you know, how my family did me. You know, they didn't want to admit who I was. You know, they still to this day lie about it. But there are so many receipts that I got to prove that they're lying. You know, they, they fear about that. They try to control people around me about how people see me. And, you know, and I had to keep on doing me, you know, res be responsible for me. You know, it's just because they feel that way is because when people, you know, when people do wrong to you, they try to make themselves look good. And if they know that, you know, they can't control you anymore, they will control about how control other people on how they perceive you. So it's just like you have to keep going. You know, I, I had to forgive my family from a distance I and mean, not for them, but for me to give me a peace of mind to know that, you know, even though this has happened to me. I don't have to keep exposing them like that because sooner or later, all this stuff is going to come out and they're like, Rosalind was not lying. And no, I had no reason to, you know, but it was like I had to go through this situation. I had to be able to heal from it and knowing there's better things for me out here. My my pain and sorrow is showing a purpose, a positive pu purpose where I can say I'm not a project, a product of my situation. I'm not showing a billboard of being a victim, but yet a victor, you know, being you know, and I can rise from all the ashes of the sorrow and heartache that I've been through, be able to switch that over and convert my, my traumatizing negative situation into a positive outcome. Knowing, yeah, I've been through this, but yet see how much I've overcame from me losing all the, you know, losing all the things that I've lost. Knowing that, you know, there's blessings and stuff out there that I, I'm not even aware of that's coming towards my way. But I have to keep working hard on doing what I need to do. Stay in a positive mindset, even though there's negative days. I'm not going to lie because there's many things that I had to, you know, I'm going through like a layer of onions. You know, as soon as I let go of one thing, more things are starting to, you know, come back up that I, I suppressed that I have to go over that. I have to just say, you know what? Okay, this did happen. But, you know, just let it go. So when you know you're going through something, knowing you went through it, yes, it's a hard thing that you ever went through because I don't know what you've been through. You know what you've been through. But just know whatever situation that you were put in, whether it was your fault or not, and usually, you know, it's not really your fault, you know what I'm saying, but it just depends on certain things that the actions and certain, oh, let me see, so certain situations can can be controlled and some of them cannot. It just depends on what situation you're in. No, let me not say that because I don't want nobody thinking I'm, I'm saying it's their fault when they go, go gone through things, but I'm just talking about from my experience. There are certain times I had a chance to meet my father, but the way my family, you know, was trying to do it on a sneak tip, they tried to make it seem like they, they knew I was paranoid and I always thought people were out to get me. So they would make it out to say, oh, yeah, we got a surprise for you, but you can't tell this person, this person, this person. You can't let nobody know where you're going. It was like you're trying to set me up for something. Now, for me, you know, not dealing with them on that, you know, on a good spot, I never, my parents, my adopted parents never did anything really good for me like that without having to, you know, either they're doing it to save face to make people think that they were the people they weren't, or it was something that was just out the blue. And it, that didn't happen too often. So with situations like that, I had to know, hey, I, can, I don't know what things they got set up for me, but I couldn't do that. That was my fault. But knowing there are certain things that you go through, 
there's a reason behind it. But don't make sure you don't stay in that darkness too long. This is already for almost 15 minutes long, so I'm not about to give no shout outs or whatever. But see me on the next video, and I love y'all. Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell, drop me a line. I would like to know if you, you know, you can relate to this video as well. And I will talk to you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.